हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू टू स्टडी हीट एंजिन्स ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक इंक्लूडेड इन टुडेज लेक्चर इज कंपैरिजन बिटवीन कार्नोट वेपर साइकिल एंड रैंकिन साइकिल कार्नोट वेपर साइकिल एंड रैंकिन साइकिल व्हाट आर द वर्किंग मीडियम फॉर बोथ दिस टू साइकिल्स so both have the same working medium that is vapor what is the first process in carnot vapor cycle reversible isothermal heat supply which happens in a boiler while what is the process in the rankin vapor cycle constant pressure heat supply that happens in boiler so that is the first difference in carnot vapor cycle heat supplied in boiler is at isothermal process here it is at constant pressure process next one it is same for both carnot vapor and rankin vapor reversible adiabatic expansion that happens in turbine so it is same for both third one is heat rejection in condenser at reversible isothermal process in carnot vapor cycle but in rankin vapor cycle heat is rejected in condenser but at constant pressure process so here the change is that in carnot vapor cycle heat is rejected at isothermal process but in rankin vapor cycle heat is rejected at constant pressure uh, process and the last process uh, the process name is same but the component has changed in carnot vapor cycle the process is reversible adiabatic compression and it happens in compressor while in rankin vapor cycle the process is the reversible adiabatic compression the same as carnot vapor but here this process takes place in pump while in carnot vapor it happens in compressor now this one is the you can say flow diagram of carnot vapor cycle and this one is for rankin vapor cycle you just look at this boiler here it is boiler here it is turbine it is turbine the next is condenser it is condenser but in carnot vapor there is a compressor while in rankin vapor there is a pump and compared to compressor the pump requires very very less work it means work given to the pump is very very less compared to the work uh, work given to compressor now this one is the ts diagram right for the carnot vapor cycle as well as the rankin vapor cycle now in the carnot vapor cycle you see at point number 2 the condition of steam is fixed that is dry but here either it can be dry it can be wet or it can be superheated also and you can see the condition at point 4 is only you can say wet steam and here at point 4 it is the saturated liquid so it is totally in liquid condition and due to that the difference is superheating of steam is not possible in carnot vapor cycle but superheating of steam is possible in rankin vapor cycle wet steam comes out from the condenser in carnot vapor cycle and here saturated liquid comes out from the condenser in rankin vapor cycle it is very difficult to compress wet steam in a compressor while it is easy to compress the saturated liquid in pump for the rankin vapor cycle so the compression is very easy in rankin cycle while compression is very very difficult in carnot vapor cycle but because it is to compress the wet steam in a compressor work required to drive the compressor is very high in carnot vapor cycle while work required to drive the pump is relatively very less in rankin vapor cycle now carnot vapor cycle ideal cycle not used practically in thermal power plant so carnot vapor cycle is the ideal cycle and it cannot be utilized practically while rankin vehicle uh, rankin vapor cycle it is practical cycle and this cycle is used in thermal power plant carnot vapor cycle efficiency is high and in rankin vapor cycle efficiency is less for your queries kindly write in comment box kindly like 
share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.